everyone. So, remember when Pal World dropped and everyone was calling it Pokemon with guns? And everyone just assumed they would get sued straight out the gate, but it never happened? Well, guess what? Here we are again. Look at that. So cute. So lovely. But they just got served two days ago. <laughs> For a patent infringement, basically, Nintendo thinks they copied them a bit too much. So they decided to sue their pants off. Let's look on IGN. There's probably going to be an advertisement immediately. <clears throat> Power World developer Pocket Pair responds to the Nintendo lawsuit, says it's unaware of the patents it's accused of infringing. First off, at least in my opinion, those are two different models. They may look almost exactly the same, but if you loaded those models up in like Blender or anything else, since the models would not be the exact same, and no, and they would be slightly different, I mean, Luxray has a tail, this thing doesn't. This one has a gem. These eyes are different. The ears are different. The mane is different. Claws are there, not different fur patterns. Doesn't have this. We all know that they're basically the same, but the thing is they're not actually the same. And that's what saved them all this time. Like, loading up these models, like, look at that. How are you supposed to turn this to this? That's a cow. This is some creature. That's a stretch. Like... Are, oh, there's little uh, things on the side. Hold on. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Mazarina Sleepy Face is the exact same as Snorlax's, except they reverse the direction of the teeth. They're suing over teeth. Same facial features, except for pupils. Does it matter, though? Yeah, well, this Triton actually is not the same. Hate to break it to you. Like, it doesn't matter. See, look, whatever. It doesn't matter, though. They're just going to keep going on and on about all these. Yeah, they look pretty similar. Some of them even have features from the Pokemon. But, like, at the end of the day, they're just not the same. Oh, that was cool. That is so cool. Okay, that that's basically Mega Agron, but... <laughs> that one I can kind of agree with, but it's sick. I, I cannot lie. Like, I say that looks more like Salamance than whatever. The point is, they're suing. <clears throat> they feel like, since they're the big billion dollar company with the glitchy games that can't do anything right, they have to take out their frustrations on developers that actually care. And anyone who cares. And it's sad. But it's the way they work. Him. Regarding the lawsuit, yesterday a lawsuit was filed against our company for patent infringement. We have received notice of this lawsuit and will begin appropriate legal proceedings and investigations into the claims of patent infringement. At this moment, we are unaware of the specific patents we are accused of infringing upon and we have not been notified of such details. Okay, that right there. It's a huge deal. Nintendo expects you to fix your mistakes without knowing the mistakes firsthand. But whatever. Pocket Pair is a small indie company based in Tokyo. Our goal as a company has always been to create fun games. We will continue to pursue this goal because we know our games bring joy to millions of gamers around the world. Power World was a surprise success this year, both for gamers and for us. 
We were blown away by this amazing response to the game and been working hard to make it even better for our fans. We will continue improving Power World and strive to create a game that our fans can be proud of. Okay, that's all wholesome and all that. <clears throat> Truly unfortunate for us to allocate significant time to matters unrelated to game development due to this lawsuit. <clears throat> Ugh. Sorry, I ate fruity pebbles earlier. There's still some in my throat, apparently. However, we will do our utmost for our fans, and to ensure that indie game developers are not hindered or discouraged from pursuing their creative ideas. Apologize to our fans. Thank you. Players are now left wondering whether Nintendo and the Pokemon Company's lawsuit will force Pocket Pair to remove Power World from sale or even shut down the game. The, the official Discord packed with posts debating the likelihood of Nintendo's success. Mm. Nintendo pursued legal action given the differences in IP law across the globe. The U.S., for example, has a notoriously permissive fair use defense, which may have influenced where Nintendo sued Pocket Pair. Okay. Wait, so is that the reason why they just kept copyright claiming people and just suing people right off the bat? It's because Tokyo copyright laws are just so, like, sad? <laughs> why are they so, like, strict on it? Whatever. Mm, essential for a court order that would block Pocket, Pell, uh, Pocket Pair from selling Power World, but cast the doubt on likelihood of a lawsuit. Patent infringement. Okay, so they can't sue for copyright, but they apparently can for patent infringement. Which I think that's a way bigger lawsuit. Pocket Pair has released a hot fix for the Xbox version to fix a fatal bug where wild pals and base pals will sometimes stop moving and stop working. Oh. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Just a bug fix. And, uh, please don't shut down the game. Y'all killing it. Yeah. Y'all getting sued and posted a hotfix at another not even phased bro no they're even getting sued honestly though I don't think they care and that's beautiful here's my conspiracy theory they only sued them now and not before because they like they didn't see it as a huge threat back then, but now a lot of people are switching over to POW World because they're clearly a better games company right now. At least in some cases, but... Like, the thing is... Like, people are switching to POW World because they did open world right. And if Nintendo copyrights me... Or takes down my video you'll know I'm right and they'll be punching down below their weight and that's bullying so yeah meme review very good channel released in <clears throat> January to massive commercial success the world waited with bated breath to see what kind of reaction it would elicit from Nintendo nothing at first they didn't care at first but now they do Surely the company known for suing the pants off of anyone who so much as breathes on their products will come yep. hard and fast for an obvious play on Pokemon. And then, for the greater part of the year, there was- Pokemon companies looking into potential copyright infringement, but Power World fans don't think they're gonna find anything. Yeah, that it's was crickets. old. Not a peep from Nintendo was heard <clears throat> until September 18th, when Nintendo and the Pokemon Company released an official statement detailing a patent infringement lawsuit against Pocket Pair Inc. The Japanese game development company responsible for releasing Power World. 
The lawsuit reads, This lawsuit seeks an injunction against infringement and compensation for damages on the grounds that Palworld, a game developed and released by the defendant, infringes multiple patent rights. This is exactly the kind of reaction most people were expecting from Nintendo right off the bat, but it's super strange that they took so long to do so. It's yeah, I don't know why they didn't just go ahead and instantly sue the pants off of them. I mean, like, it's probably just because, like, they couldn't find a good argument for copyright infringement. Otherwise, they would have just banhammered them straight off. Also, if Power World gets taken down, will people get refunds? Think about that. Will they still have the game? Or... Will it be taken off the Steam library? They just don't get a refund, or they get a refund? Like, no one knows what's gonna happen, I guess. Especially when the first trailer for Power World released way back in 2021. And of course, Power World became such a massive phenomenon upon release yeah, that it they did not like it. memes. <clears throat> it's not as if Nintendo could have gone without seeing the clearly huge homage to their intellectual property, as they <laughs> did claim that they were looking into it back in January. It's just that they seem to have decided to take a long time to do so, as if this, See, this is what I'm talking about. Of actionable objectives. That being <laughs> said, it is a shame that Nintendo has decided it needs to be so stifling against creativity related yeah. to its long-running cash cow, as the popularity of Power World revealed many are excited for Pokemon to be taken in a brand new direction. For too long has Pokemon been the same game released over and over again, often without any remarkable improvement improvements except Bro, that is so true. to 3D and open world, which has not necessarily improved its gameplay loop. People liked Power World because it shook up the f So far, in the Pokemon Scarlet series, how many glitches have we experienced? Quite a few, right? And we just saw a bunch of big glitches there. So, in all of these, have you seen a glitch, all these Power World scenes? They took their time. They're so popular because they had an actually pretty interesting gameplay loop. And they did open world right. But now, Nintendo is actually trying for Legend ZA. Because they know if they screw it up, there's no chance for them to get their money back. People are going to leave. And a lot of people, if they, like, successfully sue Power World and it's off the market, they may just boycott Nintendo. Because people love the game. Formula and provided them with something novel. Sure, it's edgy, but it's different, and in a world so starved for variety, that is enough. That Unless is you're true. playing it for the first time, Pokemon no longer provides that sense of wonder and excitement, and it desperately needs a kick in the butt to keep it from going stale. In short, Nintendo suing the creators of Power World is a less than ideal outcome, but unfortunately, it is one the world expected given their extremely tough stance on any form of possible copyright. What meme would you guys like me to give a very good video lessons in meme culture? <clears throat> Very positive. What does Pocket Pair even produce besides Power World? They made Craftopia? Huh, cool. Anyway, that's besides the point. So, TLDR, Nintendo suing, Power World doesn't really give a crap right now, and they shouldn't. Sure, Nintendo's gonna try suing for quite a few bags, but I don't think it's gonna work. I Even if they successfully pull off the lawsuit and Power World gets pulled from Steam, I feel like people are gonna boycott the next seven games they make. And they'll just, like, the Pokemon game company may die out because of what they're doing. People have been boycotting for a while because of just how awful like Pokemon is towards like anything that comes out the gate Roblox games Roblox has been sued countless times because people make Roblox games about Pokemon just about it isn't that sad We still have ROM hacks, but those have been getting a lot more shallow lately. But that's besides the point. Well, there's nothing left to say. So, this has been Dream Master, and I'll see y'all next time.